G'day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here. You may recall that I've made a couple of videos concerning these reverse vending machines. Places where you can uh, get 10 cents per can for empty aluminium drink cans and 10 cents per bottle for empty glass and plastic bottles, as long as they have a barcode on them. And you may recall that I showed what happens to the aluminium cans and the plastic bottles. How they all get dumped together. And that's how the collection service works. Yet they give you 10 cents for a plastic bottle, 10 cents for a glass bottle, 10 cents for an aluminium can. And when I made that last video about inside the reverse vending machine, I was a little bit kind of curious, wondering why they made no effort to separate the clear glass from the brown glass from the green glass from any other coloured glass because my understanding is that if you're going to remelt glass to make something useful if you want to finish up with clear glass you've got to start with clear glass if you want to finish up with brown glass you, it's okay if you start with brown glass it's okay if you start with clear glass and you add colour to it but you can't use brown glass or red glass or green glass and make clear glass out of it. So that was curious to my mind. I was because the way they collect it, the bottles go in along those little conveyor belts, and the compressed air operated deflector blades knock the bottles off the conveyor into the steel skip bin and they smash against the bottom and against each other. So what arrives at the other end after being picked up by a hydraulic scrunchy truck is broken glass mixed in of all colours, which is functionally useless for recycling. So I didn't understand why they're paying 10 cents per bottle. And I didn't understand why it's 10 cents for either a 750 mil long neck bottle or 10 cents for a 375 mil stubby. That's still 10 cents. And it doesn't actually matter the volume of it an aluminium can either. It's 10 cents for an aluminium can with a painted on barcode. 10 cents for a PET bottle as long as it had certain drinks in it. I don't think you get recycled money for milk containers but you do get them for fruit juice containers, some kinds. You know, um, Iced tea, peach flavoured iced tea, yeah I get 10 cents a bottle for them. So it's a very mysterious financial structure behind the collection procedure and I wondered at it and I wondered at it and then it occurred to me to just crunch the numbers. If they're paying 10 cents for an aluminium can then what is the current going scrap metal price for aluminium? One wonders. Well I can't bring myself to use Dr. Google and Mr. Wikipedia or whatever they are, but I have friends who are not quite so tight wrapped. So anyway, a friend of mine got on there and he said that the um, price of aluminium at the moment in Australia is between $1.20 and $1.50 for a kilogram of aluminium. And that means that if you've got clean aluminium that's got nothing else attached to it or mixed in with it, that'll be $1.50 a kilogram. And if you've got dirty aluminium that's got steel rivet heads um, or paint or adhesive vinyl stickers, then that'll be down around the $1.20 because you know they have to allow for the weight of the impurities and then they have to clean the impurities so you don't get as much for it. So top dollar price for aluminium is $1.50 a kilogram. Second grade price for aluminium like cans, and you have to have them painted, otherwise the barcode reader on the machine won't say it's a recyclable can. So yeah, $1.20 a kilogram is the going market price for aluminium cans.
if they're crushed. So what that means in real terms is that the price of scrap aluminium has risen by 300 percent since 1985 perhaps 86 because that's when I bought aluminium covers for aluminium storage trays for geological rock drill samples and I paid 42 cents a kilogram for sheet aluminium and it came with um, foam rubber a centimetre thick glued to one side of it and the edges along the long sides were turned down 25 millimetres on either side so yeah if you can deal with it if you can process it scrap aluminium can be useful one of the things I inherited when my mother's boyfriend died was three well, two kinds of um, aluminium high tension power line which as time expired once it's been up in the sky wobbling in the wind eventually they replace it rather than wait for it to break and inconvenience their system and somebody the old fella must have employed at some point got a blacksmith's forge and a heap of this aluminium wire and cut it up and melted it and then poured the molten aluminium straight out onto the floor around the blacksmith's forge it's quite good aluminium and you know if ever I need any for any of my little projects as they happen to occur I've got some of it there as well as ingots of the stuff which my father cast on his little homemade blacksmith's forge right so where was I going with that I was about to shift gears and go into mad scientist mode and get just a little bit obsessive about the price of aluminium and the mass of a can so if you can imagine we commence with one can rescued on Friday night after the usual Friday night feed I brought it home, I washed it several times to remove any traces of sugars and residue from the beverage it once contained. And then I dried it in the sun. So what we've got here is the dry weight of a painted empty aluminium beverage can, which the scale of truth will tell us readable there is it weighs in at 13.4 grams that there is the weight of a can which when melted down looks roughly like that and this one weighs 13.5 grams okay so it's one tenth of a gram heavier than the can 13.4 grams to the can 1000 grams to the kilogram divided by 13.4 and that gives us 74.626865 cans to the kilogram Call it 75 cans at 10 cents per can. How can that be? $7.46 for $1.20 worth of scrap aluminium for recycling at market prices. Who is behind this scam and what kind of a scam? Is it? How dumb do they think we are? Here is my hypothesis. What's going on is that the New South Wales government has decided 
in a conscious act of greenwash to concoct a scam, a facade, a manner and a mechanism whereby everybody who lives in a town or a city or a suburb within 50 kilometres of a reverse vending machine can, if they feel so inclined because they care about the environment so very much, they can go around and they can take their collected recyclable refuse and they can get paid 120 cents for the kilogram divided by 74.6 tin cans equals 1.6 cents per can. That's the actual correct rate. rate. 10 cents, which is what they're going to pay you, divided by one damn it perils of an ancient calculator that sometimes double enters the one key so 10 cents divided by 1.6 cents 625 percent overpayment by taking their can to the recycling machine your well-meaning well-intentioned doesn't want to stuff the planet little suburban greenie gets paid 625% of the actual scrap metal price of an empty can so that they can feel better about their electricity guzzling carbon farting lifestyle and somewhere along the way it's taxpayers who are paying for that perhaps it's being generated the, the money necessary is being generated by the registration fees of our cars or the state fuel levies and taxes. Perhaps there's a Commonwealth government giveaway that the state government are tapping into, but somebody is funding and subsidising this scam, paying 10 cents to everybody who brings a bottle and smashes it into a pile of intermingled glass that can never be recycled while paying everybody else 10 cents for a 1.6 cent aluminium can and it's taxpayers who are funding it 8.4 cents per can worth of taxpayer funded money for every 1.6 cents worth of can that actually arrives and that's arrival in the bin they've then got to pay a truck driver to go and collect it and take it to wherever they're going to separate out the plastic from the aluminium with some electromagnetic process because aluminium kind of responds to magnetic fields. Bloody regulatory authorities aren't interested in mandating the use of a streamlined solar panel on every vehicle in order to get registered, in order to keep its battery fully charged so that you don't have to ever burn any extra fuel to make the torque, to run the belt, to run the alternator, to recharge the battery. Oh no, 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 they don't want to put a solar panel on cars to save fuel because that might achieve something. Instead of that, they'll pay 650%, 625% of the actual price of an aluminium can. And <clears throat> make all of the wannabe greenies who live in the towns and the suburbs feel like they're doing their bit to save the planet and subsidize the alcoholic's next drink. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Welcome to the great aluminium can recycling scam. This has been a Mad Scientist production. You have a good one. Ciao.